Hi guys, it is Jan and Mize, and welcome back to this week's Jan and Mize, episode 82. Right, let's head in. Obviously, there was big football talk this weekend and the South conversation is going to be interesting. Right, as we come in, smart cars there. We've got a Ferrari 458 Spider. Great car, great plate. Look at that plate, loser. This is here to be checked over and then it's going to be sold. It's a friend of mine's car. He wants to come out of this and go into an Urus. What do you reckon? 458 Spider or Lamborghini Urus? Chrome orange, raised motorbikes over there as well. And then look what's turned up. So you'd have seen me go to the collection of this car, the Aventador Ultima Roadster. This was the first one in the UK. There's only two. 150 of the roasters made and here she is in all her glory great color combo and that is here for full ppf we are ppf in every single thing on this car from the carbon to the panels to the plastics but yeah how nice is that car let's walk in this way as the doors open bmw m2 this is in for a pandora and tinted windows this is straight out of the box you see it's box for it's still got all the tire shine on it a lot of people talk about why don't we have a tire shine on the cars that we do because it's got silicon based it rises up and it's not good for the wrap yes we could get one that's non-silicon based but we don't like it to spray down the side of the car and here's a great example look see this here look at all the little black dots that's what happens when you put tire shine on your car and it sprays down the side so we'd rather not do it hi pav hello how was your four day weekend that was good what'd you get up to family chilled and that was it i didn't really do no work no you didn't no, no, no private, no jobs. private jobs no private jobs not even one makes a change you had a it good does. four day yeah, rest yeah, i had to so you're gonna be committed to animize this week yeah a little boost course okay cool that's Pav, no private jobs. Um, he's fitting the Pandora onto this. We've got the Porsche Cayenne here. This car is now fully, fully stripped down. It's going a satin chrome silver, but I think I mentioned before, this is gonna be a real big job because all the arches and everything are color coded. So yeah, this is Nico Mark's next car. There's a few staff off today as well. So it might seem a little bit quiet. I don't know if I wanna head into the back and see South. Come on. You know what, before I head into the back, have a look at these videos. So I'm just out walking the dog. There he is there. Uzi. And um, obviously keeping an on the football results. <laughs> <laughs> oh, South. Oh, South. Was it 1 0? Did you lose 1 0, mate, in the 91st minute? Oops. But you're not going to be so confident on Tuesday, are you, when I see you? However, we've still got to play at 3 o'clock. But, oh, mate. Let's see what happens now. At the moment, you're three points ahead and we've got two games in hand. So it's back over to us. Get in. What'd you say, Jan? <laughs> Guess that backfired, didn't it? Can't catch a break, can't catch a break. Still three points behind, still got a game in hand and they've still got a better goal average than us. Yeah, <laughs> just got to laugh. So as we head into the back, we've got the Porsche, uh, what's this, Titan GT. This is in for full PPF again, this is brand new. God, it's like burgundy on the outside, burgundy on the inside. Red on red. Yeah, what do you think of this car? We like this car. Hi, South, how are you? Not too bad, thanks. How's you well? I'm good, mate. Good. Yeah, I'll give you the mic. Uh, like this car? I prefer the normal Titan. I'm not too sure about the um, 4x4 arches and the sort of like shoot and brake style. Yeah. But yeah, it's all right. Okay. Get down to business. At around two o'clock, I'm jumping up and down, laughing. You lost one nil. So we're back in it, blah, blah, blah. And then at five o'clock, we also lose. How did you feel early part of the day when you lost one nil before we played? Brighton, you lost against Brighton. I thought they'd done it again against us. Um, our chance to um, jump up a little bit more and um, yeah, I think uh, you boys like jumped the gun a little bit after watching the Spurs game. Get it? Jump the gun. <laughs> but yeah. He breaks it on the weekend, yeah? He was there with his wife. <laughs> yeah, go on. No, I, was, um, I thought that's our chance, but everyone, um, you lost as well. And the only team that did sort of creep up a little bit was Man U. So they've in the middle that's it so as it as it stands right now is you're three points ahead we've got a game in hand but you've still got the huge goal difference on us is it done are you definitely finishing above us now i think so yeah just because of our running we've got we've got chelsea we've got to play you guys we've got to play man united we've got some real tough games coming up however you lose to the poor teams and you beat the better teams 
Yeah, and I totally agree. I think at uh, this point in the season, they call it the um, squeaky bum time, didn't they? So uh, you've got to um, get the points where you can. It's going to be close. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. So, um, yeah, one of us will be wearing that shirt. Obviously, I put out a video. I went to the Tottenham uh, Hotspur Stadium. If you click here, you can actually see that video. And everyone's like, why wasn't Sal there? That was shot over a year ago, guys, when Mourinho was still manager. Sal didn't come. However, I did get you a Tottenham shirt. So you got a Tottenham shirt. Uh, which was real cool from there. So um, yeah, great stadium. Anyway, we'll um, we'll see you next week and see what happens and where the the teams look. Who have you got this weekend? Do you know? Brentford. Brentford home or away? I don't even know who Arsenal got this weekend. Who have Arsenal got this weekend? I'm not too sure who you've got, but we've definitely got Brentford. You've definitely got Brentford. Okay. Yeah. Bye, self. Let's head over to the other side. So before we head over there, here's the comment section. Question for Yanni, when you see other YouTubers go to someone else to get a rap done, does it annoy you? How does it make you feel? Do you understand why they would? It doesn't annoy me. We're, we're not the cheapest and we're always busy. So he's just trying to squeeze customers in. If it was a customer that's been here before and then went elsewhere, then I'd be a bit disappointed because I'd be like, well, obviously you're not happy with our service or what went wrong. People always say though, like we're the go-to company for YouTubers. And they say, if you don't take your car to Yanomize to get it wrapped, you're not making that YouTube money. Hobbies outside the work involves Music, uh, roller skating, natural cars, anything to do with cars, yeah. Anything you can think of, we're involved. He's been editing, coming for Justin's job. Yeah, I always look after my son, that's the only thing I do after, after work. Always taking him to the park, especially on the weekend, we're always going out. <laughs> what are your hobbies out of work? You as well, Yanni, and me as well. Family, dog, go-karting, watching movies. I like TV, I like to sit and watch movies. That's why I've got such a big screen. I just like to just relax and just be like, my hobby outside the works, just probably just driving, going to like car shows. Got a few things that I like doing. Obviously the number one hobby of mine is barbecuing. Aside from that, probably like tinkering around with the car. Got a little classic car which I like tinkering around with. Just got myself a new car as well, which I'm going to be doing some bits and pieces to. So yeah, watch this space. <laughs> Will the owner of Pearl's private Range Rover job be claiming their pension? <laughs> before he's finished. Well, obviously, um, the thing with this Range Rover, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, I've done previous work on a, a number of his vehicles, but with this one was a massive, massive job, and obviously, because I work for Yanni as well, so I'm just trying to fit things in between it, but I've got other people doing work on it. So I know I keep saying it to Yanni, oh, it'll be done this week, it'll be done this week, but it will be done this week. Have's Range Rover private job, it's just, yeah, it's just forever, forever going on. It'll get finished eventually one day so as we head into here we've got the lamborghini urus this belongs to sammy dehan I and mean, it was like a nardo gray look it's going back to gloss black he didn't really like the color he bought it this color by the way didn't actually have it wrapped so the team were on this getting it back to the original black paintwork to be fair the paintwork's lovely and fresh that is the whole idea of wrapping a car or ppf in a car keeps the paintwork still looking fresh just need a good clean bit of glue remover and it'll be good to go. Um, we've got Andy. Andy's on the floor. Hi, Andy. Good morning, man. How are you, mate? Yeah, all good, all good. You just get up. Get up. Oh, that's nice getting up, isn't it? Yeah. So you've been off for a long time. A week. A week. Yeah. Plus the bank holiday weekend. Yeah. So you actually like really use your, your days cleverly. Yeah. What did you do the whole time you were off? I was decorating. You are decorating? Yeah. And this is where I'm relying on you. To, uh, if I ever suggest I'm going to take time off to decorate again, Please replay this video to me. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, you're not allowed. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Yeah. What are you doing, papering? Uh, painting. Painting? Yeah. That's it. Hope you don't wallpaper as good as my guys did. Yeah, I think next time around I might um, just get an econ mark to come and wrap my walls instead yeah. of be easier. I think I'm going to do that next time as well. Okay, so that's what you did. Yeah. No no fun, no relaxing. No. Nope. So you you went from one job to the other job? Yeah, nothing at all. I've come back for a rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Andy. Uh, as we head to the back, we've got Rio here. I know these lot love a long weekend. How was your How was your long weekend? Long, long. Yeah, indeed. enjoyable. Well, I was here on Friday, I think. Okay. Saturday. You know the cameras over there, yeah. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I was here on. Um, weekend, as such. I forgot how to talk to the camera. Um, yeah. So again, working on my car as always and relaxing. That's it. Is it nothing much? Nothing much, bro. You? You really hasn't been on camera for a while. Went, oh, you went to Craig David. Went Craig David. Oh, my friend was um, performing with him. Who? Oh. Nipper. Oh, okay, yeah, I saw Nipper. Yeah. I was disappointed. And I'm a big Craig David fan. Yeah. Bloody hi, Babs. Babs just turned up. Babs turned up. I didn't know you were coming to Enfield. I did, yeah. I did when I saw when I saw your Waybridge Enfield, um, Peterborough. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was disappointed. I, th I don't think the mic was loud enough. I think the music was overpowering. And I'm a big Craig David fan. So I was, the first half was okay. Second half, the middle part, he done TS5. It livened up and at the end he'd done something else. So it was, it was okay, but then I think I was spoiled on the fact of going Stormzy and then seeing him afterwards, so. Well, hey David, you heard that. <coughs> Fix it for next time. Yeah, no, but his voice is the best. I just think the music was too loud over his voice. You couldn't hear his voice clear enough. Can't beat Craig David, man. Can't beat Craig David, exactly. Right, so, I've got Nico here. Hi, Nico. Hello, Ian. How's your weekend? Uh, it's very good, Ian. It was very good. Yeah. What did you do? I uh, just went to the beach. Went to the beach? Yeah. Where'd you go? What beach? Uh, Mercy. Mercy? Mercy Island, yeah. Where's Mercy Island? I think it's somewhere in Colchester or... Yeah? Yeah. Really? It's actually good, then. Yeah. Really good? Was it busy? No, not really, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. The, the water's cold in there. Oh, did you go in? <laughs> nah. How do you know the water's cold? I just stepped on it, yes. <laughs> Mercy Island? I didn't even know there was a Mercy Island. Yeah, they're, they're very good, then. Yeah, good. Okay, so he went to the beach. See, so he's done something, he's done something with the family, yeah? Yes, sir, enough. Good for you. <laughs> Hello, Dion. Hello, yeah. How are you? Um, I'm good. Feeling um, refreshed. I had a good, good uh, long weekend. I didn't do much. I went on um, a long drive just to go and get uh, car parts. Was it as long as you having to do this conversation? Yeah. My God, man. It was. That was it, really. Oh, I spent my Friday here with Rio, as he didn't mention. He called me last minute and I ended up spending the rest of my night here. Doing what? Helping him fix his car. And on that, the worst thing about it... You didn't get no chicken wings? No, my exhaust broke on my car when I was taking him to go get tools to fix his. And? Did he fix it? No, I had to bodge my exhaust. It's held on with a screw and a bond at the moment until I get um, some more cash. Okay then. <laughs> BMW M4 convertible here, wrapped in like a flip colour. I think car's finished, Mark's just finishing off the roof. Hi Mark. Hey. How was your weekend? I know you were out and about doing bits and you, you were off. Did you take Thursday off? No. 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 So your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. How was your weekend? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Um, we went to um, Southport. Southport. I saw you South, on the... Southport, yeah. Southport. Yeah, so South... it's like next to Bournemouth. Next to Bournemouth, okay. And I see you on the little scooter. Yeah, we with had. With the dog. <laughs> with the dog. Have a look at this. This is Mark rolling around on the scooter with the dog. Um, was it good? Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. I'll tell you, Mark's so English now. Such an English boy. And then we speak to his English wife. Hello, Naomi. Hello. Got everyone. a bit of colour, girl. Got a bit of colour. I got a tan. Look I got a tan. You. Was it nice and hot? It was. How was how was your weekend? Lovely. What did you do? Um, we went to the beach as well. No, let me guess, like near Bournemouth. Yep. <laughs> how did you guess? Oh, we married. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You always do something on the weekends, don't you? Yeah, most weekends. That's it. You don't just sit at home and just chill or nothing. Yeah, waste of life. Fair enough, that's fair enough. That's but nice. I do like a chill weekend, but not every weekend. That's good. I like a chilled weekend, but I'm old now, so I like, I like to chill a lot more. You might like to do bits. <laughs> See that? Why are you laughing? Oh, good, because I know you're going to say pause. Ma no, I wasn't. Well, I would. <laughs> Ma, I just said her and Mark like to do bits, and she started laughing. <laughs> like, did, like. <laughs> so, so rude. All right, anyway, that's Naomi, that's Mark. That's the team, I think that's, that's it today, yeah. Everyone else is off. In the back, you've got the van and Andrew's M3. Nothing really else happening. We'll be back next week, uh, but there is big videos coming out on the Yanni channel. So you've got, did the Aventador fit in the garage? You know the Urus doesn't fit in, but does the Aventador fit? We've also got a monthly update on my training and trimming down. Got Yanni monthly. There's quite a few videos coming out on the Yanni channel. So if you're not subscribed to that channel or you haven't even checked it out, right there, go and check it out. But that is the end of T-Way episode 82 and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.